Yo, what's good? Three words for you. Mobile game ads. You know the ones I'm talking about? Those weird ass, obscure, baby sensory, goofy ass advertisements. Where like the person that's playing is like playing like fucking shit just so they can trick you into you know, like downloading the game. And for some reason, when I'm on Instagram, I've been getting a fuckload of those. So I decided to screen record some, right? And I think the reason I keep getting these ads is because I just keep watching them. Instagram sees me looking at these videos and they think that I like it. They're like, oh, this guy loves our shit. But no, I just can't look away. It's like a fucking car crash, bro. They're so weird and bizarre. So let's look at some, man. Let's look at some. All right, here's the first one. It's a mafia one. Everyone's seen a mafia ad. And just like that, the boss got on top of the cart, took out his flaccid dick for two seconds, and this girl just fucking left him immediately. She looked for two seconds and left him immediately. Think about that. So my homie right here, he's fucking fuming, man. He's furious. He has his reasons. And what he decides to do is just drive them all off a cliff and kill them instantly. Just like that. His 30-second ex-girlfriend killed her. Over her. Just like, it doesn't, even, it doesn't even matter. Hey, maybe some of these guys had families to come home to that night. So after that, the homie turns to a level 100. And apparently, all you have to do is kill four individuals and vehicular manslaughter, and you're the fucking top dog, and everybody knows your name. It's that easy. All right, we got the next one right here. Let's see what it is. So this bitch catches her husband cheating on her, right? So what she does is she jumps off the fucking boat in like shark infested waters. She goes to chop down like three indigenous trees, build a house, build a garden, like really fast, by the way. And that's it. She, she got over it. That's how you get over a breakup. You, you catch someone cheating on you, you fucking leave and you like you build a civilization somewhere else completely different. So we got another one right here. She catches her husband cheating, which first of all, you got to leave right then and there. I don't know what the fuck it is with these ads trying to like teach these kids. Oh, you, you got to win your man back, bro. You got to just look better than this chick. It was your fault. It's all your fucking fault. That's why, it, <laughs> that's why your parents are divorced. That's what I'm getting at here. And what doesn't make sense to me is that, okay, you, you put on a completely different outfit. You're going to go to your, your, I don't know, your boyfriend's fucking wedding or some shit to win him back. Like, I, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. This ad is telling me that you've got to be an independent woman and go to your your boy your ex-boyfriend's wedding to win him back by looking better, but you don't. So the game tells you to try again. And I don't know about... I, I can't... I, I don't know what the fuck to say about this one. It's, it's crazy. I knew that was you, Hong Sang Yong. Oh. Hong Sang Yong, Squid Game. From the Squid Game. You was in the Squid Game, Hong Sang Yong. From the Squid Game. Y you saw what I saw, right? Squid Games. That's all it is. They did Squid Games in Mafia City. I can't fucking believe it. Is that even legal? Are they allowed to do this? I don't care anymore. Let's <laughs> play this stupid game. I'm gonna waste all of her coins. Oh my. Oh my God! I just wanted to grab jackpot. Why do the coins keep on coming? I can't stop winning. <coughs> because only jackpot has crazy high payouts.
you can hit jackpots every 15 minutes. Not to mention, there are millions of free coins and bonuses for every new player. Please download it for me too. What, what do you mean download it for you too? You're you're a grown ass man, you can download that shit yourself. Click on the link below to download now. Claim 10 million free coins. I love what they do. They, they they throw all these numbers and coins in the screen. They're like, oh, you can win fucking big money, man. Obviously, that's to like target ex gambling addicts because they see that and they're like, oh shit, I gotta fucking win big. Like that's is this is horrible. This is fucked up, man. Also, what is up with his husband? He fucking steals his wife's phone. He's like, I'm gonna waste all her money on her credit card. <laughs> Why? Why would he do that? Hey, get in line, bro. <laughs> I just got lucky. She can kill zombies in the blink of an eye. What are you going to do? Hey, what the heck, man? I just got lucky and she's practically unstoppable. What are you going to do about it? How dare you not let me get in? Didn't you see my lucky was already? <laughs> I've had lucky with max power for ages. I also have Nanami, Becca, and Luca. Together, we built a settlement with over 80 million power and have survived over 100 days in the doomsday. You, you must spend a lot, you jerk. <laughs> I didn't spend a penny. I started the game with Lucky, a legendary. Where are they? Where are these people? Are they in like a Starbucks or something? They're, this guy's just cutting the fucking line, being a complete dickhead. And the first person he cuts, he's like, I got lucky. That that girl right there is lucky. She is lucky. You see that shit? That's the real lucky right there. What are you being a dick for? Get a fucking autograph. And he also cuts off a... He cuts in front of a police officer. A man of the law. And he, he can't stop him at all because he has lucky. You know how I know this ad is unrealistic? It's because this guy cuts in front of a police officer. And nothing happens. Ow, 20 million power? Teach me! Oh man, you chose the wrong civilization to begin with! If you want the upper hand from the get-go, you can't go wrong with the Vikings. The increased capacity for collecting resources and the attack and counter-attack buff, when other beginning players are still farming, you'd be ready to invade. And when they're finally able to put together an army, you'd already be conquering cities with your Viking berserkers, led by Commander R Ragnar. <laughs> Good luck! First of all, that phone ain't real. They made an edit of the phone. So that's not even real, it's like, like a green screen on the phone. The dude tells us, <laughs> the dude tells you that like, you have to start with Vikings if you want to like, be good at the game. Why the fuck would that be the issue? Like, wh why is that the, the way to play the game? Wouldn't you want to be like, whatever you want? Why they're like, oh, you, you fucking suck, bro. You chose Persia, bro. You're supposed to be Vikings. You don't know the fucking meta to Rise of Kingdoms. Yo, know, while this is happening, what are these people in the back doing? Like, what, this girl with the white hair, she's just looking at the wall. Well, she's not going to check out this cool ass Rise of Kingdoms game. Don't do that. Actually, I was really close to downloading this one. I don't know why. The, the game looked fucking fun for some reason. What the fuck did that video have to do with this? You see what they're doing? They're bullshitting you, bro. They, they really got my ass, too. I was watching this and I was like, oh, what the fuck? They're, they're crushing a phone. That's crazy. And then what the, what the balls? Uh, oh, it's a it's a casino ad. Are you serious? What, what the fuck is up with the Nokia? Yeah, that's it. You know, in conclusion, this shit's fucked up. I don't know what we're teaching these kids, bro. I I'm pretty sure there's like thousands thousands of kids out there looking at these ads and they're like, oh, this games is so cool. Let me download it. When I was a kid, the type of ads I got were commercials on TV. I saw stuff like Zoo Pals plates, Fushigi Balls, Zoo Books, Shirley Temple ads, that one Gerber baby commercial. You know the one I'm talking about? I didn't get shit like this. 